Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline this evening, an order of prayer for the night time. I don't know how your day has been today, whether it has been a day full of joys um, or whether it has been a heavy and difficult day with sadnesses. Whatever mood you find yourself in and however your day has been, uh, I pray that the words of prayer, the space and the quiet that Compline allows and the readings that we have will give you space to bring these things to God, to consider them before him and to ease you into a restful night's sleep. As ever, words to join in with will come up on the screen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Verses from Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Creator God, 
send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 9. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord, our God. So a short reflection on prayer by Oswald Chambers from My Utmost for His Highest. Prayer does not equip us for greater works. Prayer is the greater work. Yet we think of prayer as some common sense exercise of our higher powers that simply prepares us for God's work. In the teachings of Jesus Christ, prayer is the working of the miracle of redemption in me, which produces the miracle of redemption in others through the power of God. The way fruit remains firm is through prayer. But remember that it is prayer based on the agony of Christ in redemption, not on my own agony. We must go to God as his child because only a child gets his prayers answered. A wise man does not. See Matthew eleven twenty five. Prayer is the battle and it makes no difference where you are. However, God may engineer your circumstances. Your duty is to pray. Never allow yourself this thought. I am of no use where I am, because you certainly cannot be used where you have not yet been placed. Wherever God has placed you and wherever your circumstances, you should pray continually offering up prayers to him, and he promises, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. Yet we refuse to pray unless it thrills or excites us. We must learn to work according to God's direction, and he says to pray. There is nothing thrilling about a labouring person's work, but it is the labouring person who makes the ideas of the genius possible. And it is the labouring saint who makes the idea of his master possible. When you labour at prayer, from God's perspective, there are always results. What an astonishment it will be to see, once the veil is finally lifted, all the souls that have been reaped by you, simply because you have been in the habit of taking your orders from Jesus Christ. So words to ponder today. When you labour at prayer, from God's perspective, there are always results. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. God, the giver of life, whose Holy Spirit wells up within your church by the Spirit's gifts, equipped us to live the gospel of Christ and make us eager to do your will, that we may share with the whole creation the joys of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Well, I pray you have a good night's rest and a brilliant week and I will see you again soon. God bless. <laughs>